All right, we're gonna start this race already. So let me just uh, clock ready. It's tile time. Oak shot too. Wow. I just thought I'd hop in a race. Stay frosty on this game, huh? A little bit. That not work? What the? Stun item is 20 rupees. No notification, that's too bad. Oh well. I'm not too worried about uh that really. Hmm. I need a little money. I can very easily get it since I know what the stun item is and it's twenty rupees. If I end up needing to do that. That'll take that, and uh, this is hearts, yeah. That'll do. Heart piece. That's not a bush you can grab? What the? It's a maniacal game. I'll take this. Tiles up. Well, I'm never worried too much about viewership, honestly, unless I'm doing a big show. Uh, if people want to come by and happen to hop in on this uh, stress relief game thing that I do here, that's fine with me, but otherwise, not too big a deal. Not too, not too concerned. I'm just happy my subs number is still over 500. Honestly, that's crazy. Even when I've been I've been uh, busy with real life stuff, and January is always a little slow. For it to still be up there in the 550 range, even after all that, and I expect it will take a hit soon because all that sub gifting happened during December end. But like it's still rolling, and that's pretty exciting. It's time for me to do a marathon for Patreon too. I gotta get that going. I have one bomb. I'm not even gonna mark it because I just have one bomb. I need more. Hopefully, we'll get some in here. Ideally. Book. Doesn't look like it. gonna go buy some bombs. There we go. Now I'm all set. I feel like I could do this part of the game faster if I organized myself better on it. Got a little lucky finding one bomb. I needed, um, honestly needed two to really have an easy time clearing this. One goes here, 
right next to the store, so that's a free one. But the, the ones up top kind of take a while. Red cane, obviously worth checking, though. You never want to skip these. Ever. You just don't skip these. Did I miss that? Oh shit. I haven't missed that in a while. Moon Pro Bottle? We can turn that in. All right, nice. That's not a bad item to find. Hey, guys, congratulations on the win. Again. rupees up there. That's a fine thing to skip. Let me go for a walk. Desert is not as appealing as it sounds. I can get in there. It's a pendant, uh... Red crystal on Eastern and blue crystal on um, Arakara. There's its dependent and it's two items plus another one. I can get. Uh, I can't do the desert though. I can't finish it. Active. I can't actually finish it. So, pretty crappy. Pretty crappy choice. That's really annoying too. Find that now and not before. When I was right over there. I'll do that sometime, I guess, but not now. I'm busy. I'm busy checking loot all over the place. Only the finest of tile jokes. Come here. Got him. Nice. That's honestly pretty lucky. Those things are evasive. <laughs> the heart cave. Because hookshot stun will get me 20 rupees, I could grind the money pretty quickly for Zora if I really wanted to. That's what I would do, but I don't have a weapon to kill them with. Killing them with the hookshot is not the same as stunning them and killing them. It won't get me the item, which in this case is 20 rupees. So that money plan doesn't actually work until I actually find a real weapon. Even if I wanted to do that, which I really don't, I'm just saying I could get money quickly if I end up needing money on this run for whatever. There, now I can get money if I feel like it. Edward, hey, thanks for the bits, man. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. Time for some tile magic here. 
that looks right. We're gonna do the Moon Pearl trick here to get me into the cave. Get those two items and turn around and get the other under the bridge. While scoping an item. Also, doing all that. This little trip here. I have a ton of hearts already, man. Just getting loaded with those. Bombos. In the lake. Might need that. Mark that down for later. Fake flippers work. No. Um. Eastern Palace, Desert Shovel. Those are all good choices. I think I'll check the shovel real quick. Shovel. I'm too worried about getting screwed by this. Man, that's a lot of hearts. <laughs> Jeez. Shovel done. Probably not worth my time to go check that, but you know. You never know with this freaking open world. Uh, looking for the hammer, looking for the gloves, looking for the anything. Flute. Something's gotta give. It could be in any of these locations. Like I said, I've been screwed by that kind of thing before, and I hate it. I don't want to toot my own tile, but I think immortality's already been achieved, actually. Ten hearts is quite a bit. I hate that he grabs the bomb instead of the pot there. Every time. Master Sword. If I find the lamp, it's Aghanim time. Just gonna go straight for it. I'm not gonna mess around. Uh, because I have the escape left. Certainly. Eastern Palace. Probably should have done escape first in this case. I'm not sure. Probably won't matter too much. I can go down here and hook shot across, so that's neat. Need to be able to do that. Save a little time. That doesn't get me anywhere. Uh, hmm. It's just one of those nice to haves. Gets me an item, gets me access to Aghanim, but so does a Master Sword. Uh, I'm missing the lamp. Lamp would be saying Aghanim to me. Which, it's really not. Why can't I just not do him once? Constantly. He shows up. He's no fun. I screwed up. I keep messing that up. That's item two. I 
they gonna make me explore the whole castle here to get the last item, or is it in this big chest, do you think? Okay, well, we're done here. So I'm going to escape. Because I did not find what I'm looking for yet. I did check Aghanim's Ledge this time. Out of habit. Kind of on accident, because I don't really like to check it anymore. And there wasn't anything up there. Do I do escape or do I just assume it's Aghanim? I think I'm gonna do escape and take a death and then... I need to find the torch really before I really commit to Aghanim. Cause it's gonna be hell to do it without it. I don't wanna be that one guy who does that. There it is. Okay, well that says to me that that's the right move. I'm not gonna play around this time with trying to skip him. I think that's just gonna backfire on this one. I think that he needs to be done. I'm missing two items still to skip him. I'm just, I'm just not feeling that, so I'm gonna just assume he's required. I take some hits. I'm gonna end up taking a death and getting back to the front of this castle and going up. Kill his... Stupid ass. It's <laughs> one more chest to go, and I need to make sure I get it before I die, so I like to stun the green guy and kill the big dude who hits me harder. Oh, he can't hit me when I'm when he's stunned? Wake up. That stun lasts a lot longer than I thought it did. Okay, nothing here. I'm definitely convinced that Aghanim is the answer here, so... Thing is, um... I can get the other four items in this backside of escape. But I feel like I'm wasting time doing that. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I might do that later. It's a quick run, obviously, so. Can you lock yourself? I guess that's a question. Can you lock yourself out of the escape items if you don't have the mirror? Can you get in there? I guess you could take the um, the right side of the castle and get in there. So no, the answer is no. Then I guess that's what I'd have to do. If that ends up being the gloves and the only gloves I can access, that would be the answer. That would that would really suck. <laughs> That'd be really dumb. Here's hoping that escape doesn't really have anything in it. I'm not doing the rest right now. I just want to get this done. Probably should have done it too and um, taken a death on that as well, but what are you going to do? Let's just walk right through that guard. No big deal. No big deal at all. Agging him every day, man. Every day of the week on this freaking randomizer, dude. All those big 20s. From the stun. That's why.
Got any better music for me here? I said better, damn it. I'll take it. Why did my hookshot fail there? <laughs> Why did he just cancel it on me? Well, it probably was a little bit of an error in judgment to not do all of escape. I'm just not sure where I go when I die when I'm doing the back of escape. Do I go back to the front door? Because if I don't, that would really suck. I just can't help but notice that I have an extra key. Which means that there's four items back there. So I got the map too. That's a lot of items to just give up on for no reason, really. I just kind of want to get to the dark world for some reason. I just want to get there. Yo! You want to actually do something, buddy? Man, three in a row. This is guaranteed three phases, minimum. Four. Keeps it up. Ugh. Wow. Take damage. This is miserable. There's nothing I can do about this. Assuming he is required. This is so boring. I hate that they put this back in. He still has HP left. Eventual slaying of Agonim. Still working on it. Come on, man. Are you seriously not gonna die yet? How many phases is it? Six? Out of here. Agnum dead, that gives me a warp. I really should do the back of escape though. Feels like a mistake to skip it, but I'll do it later. I wanna go on a world tour real quick. Since I can't swim, one of the issues I've got is um I have to get a Palace of Darkness without the bow or the hammer. But I'm doing that. I'm going to commit to this gamble that I've made. Feels a little silly, but... Well, that feels really silly to have taken eight damage or whatever there. Six. I'm going to check as much as Palace of Darkness as I can and then bail out. Go somewhere else. Blinds and Swamp, optional. I don't know that there is a max, really. I mean, he just kind of does what he wants. Fifteen is uncommonly high, I'll tell you that. Let's put it that way. I am allowed to explore pod.
So, so far looking like maybe the right way. But without the bow or the hammer, I can't do this required dungeon, so there's that problem. Unlikely I'll find both in here, if even one. But I might as well get as much as I can. Ah, piss. Jeez, man, the fucking fireball. Messing me up. That sucks. Tempered sword? Hmm. That's not a bad find, but I need progress. I need... Actual things, please. I'll take the big key, but I think unfortunately that I'm done here. Because I don't think I can get any other keys. Yeah, I can't. I'm done here. That unfortunately is the end of Palace of Darkness exploration. Which means I'm going to um, do the back of escape now, as I was supposed to. How bad is this gonna hurt when I find uh, when I find out Agonimo is actually optional? <laughs> I've got to go the long way around too because of this, so it's already hurting that I didn't do this first. If I had thought about it, I would have known uh, that without the gloves or the hammer, I can't hook shot across. I don't believe. Maybe I can, but I'm pretty sure those things are in the way, so. If this doesn't give me an item, I'll go check, I guess. I could theoretically do the desert now. Oh. Rough start. Really rough start. This isn't where it's at, then it must be in the desert, and I wouldn't have done that. Well, he didn't do them in a row, he did break them up. Your math's a little off. It's it's not that incredibly unlikely. It's just um still pretty unlikely though. Just a hammer. The hammer does do something for me, so that will do it. Let's go back to the dark world. Hammer's what I've been looking for, really. But without the gloves, um, still gonna have to do Aghanim. Uh, they could do the desert, though. They could put it in one of four places in the desert, and maybe... Maybe gloves are in the desert. That would be the, what would stop me from doing Aghanim. And I don't know if that's true or not. I did not go for it. Going up this way. Yeah, I would have had to have the hammer here for sure. I was right, so. No catfish for me, thanks. Maybe later. Ugh. 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 
I'm gonna die. Taking too many hits. Can't get there. Fuck, that's right. I, I need the freaking gloves, man. This sucks. Fat Bard? What, what music is this from? Oh, that's Bastion? No. Couldn't be. It might be, um... I mean, it might be Bastion, but I think it's actually from, um, Battle Chef Brigade. Okay. Let's play Bastion, though. <laughs> Wish I had the fire rod, I'd go kill Mothula right now, but man. It wouldn't even be hard because I got the tempered sword. That actually have an advantage on my side for going into Palace of Darkness a little bit. But no. Got the gloves. Now I can go get it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's swing back up, get the fire rod. Hmm. I'm happy to see the gloves here. That's a good thing. All signs point to the desert not being the answer. I don't know where the mitts are, though. So we ain't quite safe yet, but I mean, that's a step in the right direction for sure. I need to get a dank dungeon done, that's my priority right now. I'm gonna grab that fire rod and go do Skull Woods, that's a crystal. Fire rod. Getting some items now, huh? Check out that inventory. I need the flute, the ice rod, some medallions. I know where one is. Don't want to die here. I'm busy. I'll die in a skull woods on purpose. I'll take a death there. That's the ticket. Maybe right here. It's probably a good place. Good as any. Death animation. Wrong item that I had hook shot on. That's okay. I'm gonna need to bomb jump here, maybe. Yes. I just wanted to make sure I had um, HP for that. This will be rough. <laughs> this will be bad for business. Shit. I don't know if I can still. Uh, I can't. I gotta fucking take a death here again. I gotta do this bomb jump. I have to do it. It's really hard to do with the tile, it turns out. What do you know? But it is. That stupid jellyfish didn't hit me, I wouldn't have to take a death. But of course it gets a hit on me. Friggin' jerk. Ah, oh, man, I'm having such a hard time with this. Why can't I line this up? That's not right. Fuck. It's not right. It's not gonna work. I don't think that'll work. Oh, it'll work. Tile's, tile's really confusing to do that with, man. Jeez. That didn't look right at all. 
Well, I'll take it, I guess. I got stupid arrows. So it's just ripped me off. Disgusting. I'll be saving and quitting after this dungeon's done. To do the other, uh, other easy ac access stuff in Dark World here. I'm gonna get grabbed by the hand, if it would be so kind just to appear. I don't know what's taking so long with it, honestly. There it is. So the fire rod actually is not that great for this boss. It's just not. Master sword damage, so... I don't need to worry about mana on it. I have a really good sword. Turns out, so we are in good shape. I'm taking advantage of the fact that I have found that to give me an easy kill. Ought to have no trouble with this boss, theoretically. The Tempered Sword should be a pretty easy going fight. I am injured, though. Do have the blue tunic to help me. The uh, obstacles in this fight kind of ignore that, though. They don't really care. Oh god, I got grabbed by you. At least I got the hearts. <laughs> Yes, it does Master Sword damage to this boss. Eight bombs, I'll take those. Drink. All hooked up. Now we're ready for this boss. I feel a lot better now. I wouldn't have chosen to do it that way, but you know. Took some lumps there. Not too proud of that. Need to blast this guy in here. So really, it's because of that that I have the Tempered Sword that I'm not worried at all about my mana. Using the Fire Rod on him is neat uh, for range, obviously, but it's not preferable. If you don't believe me, Dan, Try and do that with the Fire Rod. I challenge you to kill him that quickly. I'm excited to see the flippers. Let's get out of here. Fire Rod is usually not weaker than Tempered Sword, but on that boss it is. Every boss has its own little set of numbers. You can't trust anything in this game. The Master Sword is worse than the regular sword on Armos. By the way. For some reason. <laughs> not that you would ever do that. But if you were. The owner of the Master Sword. And no arrows. That's a thing. Crystal one. Did not mean to drop a bomb there. The question is, where do I go next? Because I don't really have any good places to go. I guess I can go to the mountain. That's actually a really good place to go. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't go up there already. I'll, let me just finish this area. I might as well. I'm here. And then I'll head off there. Flippers means I have access to Bombos, which I feel like I probably will need, so... That's why I was excited to see Flippers. That, and uh, it was the second item in Skullwood, so I don't have to go digging around for the last one in the chest that I left behind. Flipper's not actually a great item, <laughs> because the uh, the dungeon there, swamp, is optional, theoretically, so. It is possible to get to Armos 2 with no bow. It's also possible to get to him and not have any arrows, unlike Armos 1 where there's arrows everywhere. You might not have any arrows for that guy, so the situation could come up 
where you had Master Sword and Fighter Sword would be better, then the damage you'd be doing would be awful. You would not understand why it was so bad. Now it's time to save and quit. It's mountain time. They're finit, and it's not very plentiful in Ganon's tower, honestly, to get arrows. There's only a couple to go around. You could easily not have enough. You need 18 for armos, so... And that's if you don't miss. So, you know, you could easily run out and have to use the Master Sword. I can see that happening, and it sucks. Its damage is pathetic. Mountain time. Walking down the path very logically here, unfortunately. I couldn't skip anything. I tried my best, but it didn't work out. Hopefully we see the gloves somewhere that's glove locked. I want to see those mitts on this mountain. Ideally would be nice, but like anything like that. If they're in the dark world or on this mountain, then I couldn't have gotten them without killing Aghanim. That's what I want to see. It's confirmation about the feeling I have that Aghanim is required and I didn't make a huge mistake on a huge battle that that jerk just took a hundred years I'll check the items up top when I go around out of my way doing this bomb jump with this tile is gonna suck big handicap. <laughs> this thing. Don't know why I picked it again. I'm dumb. Thought it would be funny. The joke is dead. It's killing me. Blue potion. Silvers. Let's see if I can pull this off. What do you think? What do you think? That looks maybe correct. Maybe for tile. Hey, all right. Not so bad. Not so bad. That that jump in uh, Skull Woods was really screwing me up, though. It really was. That's a cave down there I need to check. I'll do that after Tower of Hera. Get my second crystal. Before I forget, I'm gonna check, um... Ain't a burner there. Don't need that. I can get this tablet, though. I still don't have a whole lot I can do um, for dungeons. Ooh. I can finish this dungeon and then I am kind of stuck. I can do blinds, optional dungeon. I maybe be able to do desert, I probably should check. Probably is next, there's ice rod. Which I do need. So that's good. That's an annoying item to find, so that's nice. I could do Turtle Rock if I could get in it. If I get the mitts here, I could check. See if it's Bombos. I won't be able to get Bombos without the mirror, though. So I'll have to leave anyway, no matter what. I guess if I got the mitts, I could check the mountain and see if I get a different medallion and maybe a different one will get me into Turtle Rock. I'm gonna take a fall here.
That's not good. I have no idea what Nintendo thinks about this. Well, here's boss time. He's still alive. Hmm, I thought I got him with a spin. Oh well. Okay, this dungeon's done. Ice Rod and Ruby. Um, it's one item to check on the left and one item on the right. And I'll leave the one on the left for later because there is, um, there's also the Spike Cave. And I can get to both of those pretty quickly compared to the one on the right. I'd rather get the one on the right done and not have to worry about that one. Those one and two obtained. I'm gonna check those now, I think, actually, because I'm not sure where else to go right now. It's desert, but I really don't like desert right now with these items. I really don't. Um, without the boots, I really don't feel it. I need to do it, but I'd rather get the dang boots. I can guarantee I can do it. If I can help it. So I'm putting it off just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go do it next, though, I think. shield. Doing this part, I should have grabbed a heal. Damn, I really messed that up, didn't I? Hmm. That's okay. I won't need mana for the desert. I'm gonna need to use the cape, and uh, might use that potion of mine. Cape lasts long enough. No, it won't. I'm gonna have to drink that potion for sure. <laughs> Waste of time. Let's do that desert. I don't know. I want to kind of see the bow, I guess. Is the item I want to see in the desert? Not the mitts. Please, not the mitts. <laughs> I mean, if the boss has the mitts, that would be fine. Because the boss is power glove lock, too. Just another reason why I didn't want to go there earlier, because I really wouldn't have been able to explore the de desert very well. But there are four items in the desert for me two in the caves, and two on the dungeon itself. Hard sprite to, to play with, too. It's, it's not a good sprite in general, honestly. Ah, 
Oh no. Mirror. Hmm. What does that do for me? Well, that gets me Bombos and it gets me access to Swamp. Would it let me skip Aghanim? I don't think it would. Not really. Kind of item that doesn't have any effect here. I would have had to have had it, um... The power goes first, still. Okay. We'll find out if we need boots right now. I'm gonna grab that mirror. One way or the other. I don't need boots. We can finish the desert, so that's done. That's gonna get finished here. And I have a third crystal in uh, an hour. Be missing a couple things. This is a small key. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Let's kill the boss and see if the boss has the item. There's two items on the left, or on the right side. I might not need them. I'll check them after I kill the boss, because it's going to be quite a walk. I feel like this is faster, especially since the mirror's over here. Let me grab that sucker, go kill the boss, and see if the boss is lucky enough to have the item. One in three chance. The boss must die, so I'm just playing the odds. You know, there's no reason not to go kill the boss here, I don't feel like. Not really losing any time. Maybe saving time anyway, because the Amir is going to cut off some of that journey. I can just save and quit after I get the items this time. If the boss has the item, I'll definitely save some time. He could. But if he doesn't, I'm not going to be sad about it. I'll be alright. Won't lose too much time at all. I still think, yeah, I, I still feel like it's a game. Just because I can save and quit, yeah. Whatever that item is, I definitely need it. I need to know what it is. I still haven't unlocked anything, so I'm going to have to figure out what to do next if this isn't it. The mirror lets me do swamp, so that's probably what I'm going to do next. Optional swamp green pendant dungeon. Don't really want to, but that's the cards, man. I always miss one there for some reason, but I get the double consistently. Hey, look at that. This was absolutely the right move. Blue pendant. Dungeon done. Now we go to Swamp. Get another crystal. That sounds fun. Aghanim very clearly was required, so I was right on that. Again, unfortunately, he just won't go away these days, man. I can't get rid of that stupid requirement. Him every time. When I was in Skull Woods, I neglected to check the uh, tablet, the pedestal, so I felt like I needed to grab the pe uh, pendant. Probably shouldn't have committed to that, but I didn't have the mirror, obviously, so I couldn't easily do it. I don't know if I need this blue pendant or not. I'm, I'm kind of playing it safe. I feel like I'm making the right choices so far. Uh, for the most part, it's just taking forever. 
so I don't really want to take any real risks, honestly. This, this dungeon sucks, though. I don't know what else to do. I'm at the point where I'm going to have to start thinking about what to do next. I can get the Bombos. But I still don't have the Titan Mitts, so I don't have any use for it. Without the Flute or the Titan Mitts, I can't get them to Mire or Turtle Rock, so I don't need Bombos yet. But I will, maybe, eventually. So after I do this, I'm going to check Bombos' tablet. And then I'm going to check and grab Bombos out of the pool. No matter what, those two things are getting done. I can see the writing on the wall that this seed's not going to be very friendly, so I'm just kind of like playing it like it's going to be as mean as possible. There's hearts to be had in this dungeon if you know where to look. I don't really have anything to worry about for health here. Titan Mitts. Maybe I should leave right now. That's a good thought. I might. Hmm. Maybe I should. I'm not sure, man. I fail. I'm gonna go mode the dungeon, at least. I don't think I'm gonna check the left side. Maybe I'll do it later. Titan Mitts opened up a ton of stuff. I need the flute, the bow, and some kind of medallions. Maybe I better just finish this dungeon. It's got the green pendant. It's got more chests for me. I can check later. I probably would just hop right back in after I finish it and get the last two. This dungeon's a pain in the ass to get into. You need flippers, hookshot, hammer. I guess you didn't technically need hammer for Titan Mitts this time. Well, you need not hookshot, but you did need hammer. Um, how are you gonna get into Dark World? Get the mirror from the desert. Could have gotten that in this, but. Very roundabout path. The hammer was an escape. The problem is... How are you going to get the... Um, flippers. The flippers are up there in Skull Woods. Check the rest of this dungeon. How much am I missing here? Okay, so here's hoping that the big chest has a uh, item in it, and then I won't have to do the left side at all. What do you think, big chest? You gonna hook me up? Nice. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. That means the last two items are garbage. I can get out of here. Pretty nice swamp. I could have left with the titan mitts unless the green pendant pays off. I'm not sure about that yet.
I can do Ice Palace. Maybe that's next on my list. Probably a good stop. And it's convenient, too, because I can go east from here, get Bombos, and then head that way. Okay, the book's purpose is complete. Turns out that the book, uh, the only value it had was getting me the mirror on the desert ledge is the access point. There's Bombos, which I may need, not sure. Can't check. I check Total Rock, but I still can't check uh, Mire, which is obviously preferable to do. Ice Palace on the list of mandatory dungeons is going to get done next. Blinds is the last pendant. A good dungeon. I can go clear that whenever, but I don't want to do it until I have done all the mandatory dungeons. It'll be last on my list uh, in that case. I'll be going up to the mountain to check out Turtle Rock soon anyway, because I need to know if I can get in there. If I can, I'm going to get it done. Pals can't read anyway, right? This is gonna be rough. You're never going to see me pull this bomb jump off in a hundred years. This tile, I'll tell you. Can't believe this is where the run ends. Oh. Hey, he's still alive. Yeah, that's right. I got to spin. Of course. Stop room is actually pretty easy if you do it uh, the way it needs to be done. It's not too hard of a technique. Pick up the skull, pop the bomb there. Right where the skull was. Throw the other skull at the other thing. There we go. Using some eye frames there. It seems like the players playing this are having some trouble. <laughs> the other racers seem like they're not having a good time with the seed. I understand that. It is a very annoying seed, isn't it? Pretty roundabout. I missed Triforce Hunt daily for this. I'm not sure if I made the right choice or not. I don't really like doing different modes that I don't know too well. The bow. I believe that's the first item I've found in here. It's a very exciting item. That's gonna get some work done. That's two crystals right there. Silver arrows too. Two items. 
All these tricks take a little practice because this game's so wonky. I did not save any time because I don't know how to hammer dash down <laughs> these. Oh well. About a tile, is that correct? That looks maybe correct. Nope. Not quite. Oh shit. There we go. If I screw that up, I'll be very sad. Oh, nice! It's the goddamn boots! boots, boots, boots. Item three. Gold armed boots. I'm glad I have Bombos. I can use that for mana here. I don't really have mana. Didn't even think about it. Ice Palace, very essential for this run. Very important. Yeah, I'll just do that. I shouldn't need the Fire Rod here. Fire Rod does great damage here, though. I shouldn't need it. Maybe I'm just gonna use it for safety, actually. These guys are hitting me an awful lot, and I do not want to die to Cold Stare like a doofus. One more hit from him would have probably done me in, so let's not play that game. Let's not risk this crystal for nothing. For impatience and for speed. No thanks. No, I'm not that. Where to? I mean, I guess. Let's just head directly to House of Darkness. The fastest way there is honestly swimming, I think. Because I still ain't got the flute. Look at this guy, charging in. The ultimate tile. He thinks he can win? I just killed Cold Stare. Don't you know? A little bit of respect is due here. This tile. Porcelain Nightmare. I'm glad I locked this dungeon up, kind of. Like, I am looking for the flutes and the other medallion still. And they may be in here, and I'm gonna have to check. But at the same time, I really saved a lot of time by locking myself out doing the way I did. And I got the Tempered Sword out of it too, so I got pretty lucky with my Palace of Darkness exploration. I got stuck. I realize I'm not using the boots because I haven't had them for so long. I need to start using those. Anyway, I got stuck here after I found the Tempered Sword and all that jazz. Pretty nice time to have found them. And to run out of keys. And I can come back later and do this way faster. Good run. Jokers. Whoa, hold on, no tile. I 
Hour 10, what a slow run this has been. I've done two extra dungeons though. I do require the flute, unfortunately. No doubt about that, I do need that. Uh, so I'm still looking for that. Once I have that, I'm gonna have to check uh, Meyer first and Turtle Rock second. If I do find it. If I don't find it, I'm just going up to Turtle Rock and hoping I can get in and do it. I need to know what medallions I need. I could be done already for all I know. Hard to say. Whereas Ether was Quake, and are, are they even mandatory? Who knows? If I'm in go mode already, then this actually is a pretty good seed. Somehow. <laughs> it could be okay. It could be done in 90 minutes if that's the case. I mean, not by me, not this time, but somebody could do it that fast. I think I'm looking at an hour 45. Unless I get hoisted. Hey, uh, Skorin, how you doing? I'm doing alright. I'm having an okay journey here. Alright, for a tile. Okay, journey to tiles, huh? Boss has the map, that sucks. I didn't even need to open that big chest. Ultimately, I got the only thing of value out of Palace of Darkness on the first trip. Five crystals after this. It's Meyer and Turtle Rock holding me up, and maybe I can do both of them once I find that flute. But I can, I can theoretically do Turtle Rock right now. I just gotta check. That's quite a walk. I never know if I should take that walk or not, but I think in this case I better. I better. What if the other two medallions? What if the flutes and Turtle Rock? Everything could be up there. And if I can get it done, I need to do it anyway. The boomerang is too weak to do the shot. Grab Eastern's crystal real quick, and this will be a fast one too, so that's two. Crystal 4. This is Crystal 5. Well, with Silvers, you risk missing, and that really slows you down. You miss with Silvers, and you take forever. Only takes a couple swings of the sword, it's pretty guaranteed, but I still somehow miss the sword swings.
Should be missing a compass and a map here, yeah. There's no items in here. So I'm still missing the flute. So it is definitely uh, just crystal gathering here. No reason not to grab this now. It's crystal five, I think. Let's go ahead and mark it. It's mine now. And then it's mountain time. To the mountain. I never turned in the green pendant. I'll do that sometime too. I gotta remember that, that that's a thing I haven't done. Well, here's hoping that I can get into Turtle Rock anyway. It would be nice to get that done. It'd be nicer if it had my items in it. Excuse me. Rude. Rude. I always think I can grab that. Wonder why I can't. You can grab the small ones that are a fifth of the size. You can grab this big thing. There's a lot of overworld to check, you know, I really don't want to. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I can find that flute and find out that I don't need medallions. Bombos? Yes, nice. Bombos opens. That's one. It might just be the flute missing. Um... Let me check shut cave and stuff before I do this. Hey Gigas Monkey, what's up? I've never played any of those games. I don't know if I'd like them or not. From what I saw, I don't know if I would. A little weird. Oh shit. A tumble. One more chest in here. Well. King's Quest is a good game series. <laughs> I didn't like that when I was a kid. I still think it's a good series. It's just not my kind of game. What modern game do I not like that people like? Um, honestly, any of the 4X games. You don't like King's Quest, Bellmaker? It was very impressive at the time.
Ooh, that was close. Still got hit. Red tunic. It's tile time. I'll blend in again. I like to kill that guy with that, because I just don't trust him. He can knock you down that pit. I'm not in go mode yet, as far as I'm concerned. Um, well, I mean, I know I'm not until I find that flute, but even if I do, I still will check everything in this dungeon. Only if they give me both medallions and flute will I suddenly start pacing up. Oh my god. My key. My key shape. This guy was in a weird place. He's still alive because of it. Man. That hurts. I don't have a heal? I'm glad I have the red tunic, I guess. Pretty bad. Oh, I thought it was out on PC. I don't want to play it on PS4. I have a PS4, but man, that's pretty crappy. I didn't know that. It's not on any other things. Is it PC? Is it PC and PS4? It's on the Switch. It's not on the Switch. I know that, right? I remember reading the thing that said it wasn't coming to the Switch. Well, that sucks. <laughs> It probably won't be as big a deal as I thought it would be if that's the case, because a lot of people don't have that system. I need to check this cave. It'd be very bad for me if it's in here and I don't check it. One of the worst things to skip. Could add the mirror shield, which means that the items at the end of the bridge are supposed to be legal, and I think the cape also verifies that. <laughs> that didn't work. I tried to get around him. No disconnect on my end. I've had really stable internet lately, and I'm grateful for that. That's the worst for me when my internet's being flaky. I need to very carefully get these items here. It's one. Two. Do I want the rest? I think I do. Ah, shit. Well, at least I got rid of him. Ah, come on. One more. Total Rock's all wrapped up. Did not get my flute or any medallions in here, but that's okay. At least it's done. Who is it hosting? Pretty strange.
Grab a health for the road. Ah, I couldn't make it in time. I tried to stop him. The jerk. I hosted Reservoirs earlier today. Maybe it uh, messed up. I'm not sure if this is the red or blue crystal. I'll have to check. But the answer to the Turtle Rock is it should have been last, not before, but I needed to check. I need to know where that flute is. It's time to start scouring the earth, looking for this thing. I guess step one is to save and quit, check Catfish, Zora, and uh, the ledge up there. Okay, it is the uh, bomb, so I'll check that too. You know what? Let's do this. He's who I was hosting before I started this cast. So I guess if it screwed up, it would just go to him. That makes sense that it was him. But obviously I'm not hosting him right now. <laughs> just a little goofball thing it must have done. Look at this bomb. Check this and then catfish and that. I should have saved and quit to his house, obviously. I just didn't uh, check if I had the red crystal or not. Jerk. Two items here, catfish, Zora, and the thing up there is three more, and then there's the, um... Dwarves, there's Blind's entire dungeon, there's the green pendant. Um... Got a lot to do for scouring the planet here, unfortunately. I gotta find the flute. And once I find the flute, I can figure out if I need anything else. Okay, got it, got it, that was really lucky guess, okay. Well, you know, step one. I should have should have mirrored again. I just still didn't do it. Should have mirrored. I'll do it now. Got the flute. Possibly in go mode now. There's a chance. Really lucky call there. How about it, Meyer? Are you gonna be bombos? It's gonna be nice. The location of the gloves is why this was a required seed for Agonim. You have to have the gloves no matter what. I could get the hammer, but not the gloves. The gloves were in Thieves Town, right? Thieves Town, I think, was one of them. Obviously, that's in the Dark World. The other one was in um, Swamp Palace. Now, you could. You just couldn't get. There's just no way. You can't get to either of those locations without the, the gloves. Ninety minutes in here, working on my last dungeon, possibly. It's Bombos, we're in go mode, nice. I can finally verify. Also, I had to do Turtle Rock before Meyer because I had to get the bomb, so you know, everything was the right call. Actually getting pretty lucky on this, if you can believe that by, by the time. This is a two hour seed that I'm just tearing to pieces with luck. I 
I skipped a whole bunch of stuff. I skipped an entire dungeon. I did do. I did go ahead and get some pendants I didn't need, but I skipped all of blinds. I didn't do any of that nonsense. That's an entire dungeon that I usually st stick out. You know, I usually go for that one. Not the time this time. Not the case. Just did not do it. Makes up a little bit of time there. That's a five minute gain. Um, going up to Turtle Rock, getting in there, getting lucky on Bombos twice. Getting Turtle Rock done when I did, get the red thing, and then immediately going to the right place afterwards. Out of the ten places I've got to go, that's going to save some time. So are we looking at an hour 45? That's going to be tight. It depends on if Meyer gives me the key right away, and also if Ganon's Tower is mean. R45 is still a pretty pretty rough time to get right now. Maybe. I need that key. I want to play this like Meyer's not going to be nasty and put the stuff up on the slow part, so... I'm going to flip the switch and then turn around. It's one of the items. It's one more over here on the right. Okay, Meyer is nasty. Can't be helped. Big keys in the big key vanilla location. That's never fun. That basically means the whole dungeon must be done. For me, because I do I always do it this way. I'll be doing silver arrows on this boss, I'm not gonna do the cape thing. I'm just not gonna have the mana. Silver arrows will work. Gotta be careful not to get hit too much, though. Cape would be better if I had the gold sword, then I'd do cape, I think. Big key. Myra's done. I gotta go kill the boss real quick. It's gonna be an hour 50 when I finish the seed, unfortunately. Still taking that long, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just a slow walk, man. I'm not gonna be in Ganon's until uh, an hour 36. Well, an hour 38, actually, I mean. If, if I'm fast here, let's see. That sounds about right. It's gonna take another three minutes to get up there and be with five, uh, seven crystals. I didn't feel like that much time went by, but uh, here we are. <laughs> That's not much time went by. And me with four health here, I gotta be careful. A little bit. Second person bailed out on the race. It sucks. Pretty mean, dude. This is a pretty mean seed for sure. I just got lucky, dude. This is definitely one of the worst ones I've seen in a while. Um, it's coming together for me though, thankfully. I hate having to do Aghanim every time. Never like that. It's bow time.
Jeez. Let's, uh, let's dodge the lightning here. Let's play it super safe, because I don't want to get fucking blasted. Ugh. Why am I having such a hard time hitting that last one? That does it. Now you're dead. Be get your skid out here. Half mana would have been nice a minute ago. <laughs> well, at least I have it for the tower. Pretty loaded, at least. I have a lot of equipment for Ganon himself. Flute was in the big bomb cave. That fairy cave. Which was locked by Turtle Rock and Eastern Palace. Okay, I was about right. I'm 30 seconds off getting here in an hour 38. Turtle Rock was required. It pretty much was Turtle Rock. It might as well have been in Turtle Rock where, where it was. Uh, because it, it was locked by Turtle Rock for sure. I'll be done maybe a little bit under an hour 50. It's going to be entirely dependent on this dungeon here. It should go well. I've got 16 hearts, red tunic, tempered sword, and silver arrows. I just need to figure out where the heck the... Um, big key is, you know? The way this thing's been going, it's gonna be the 22nd one. I'm gonna play it like it's gonna be front friendly to me here. Powder. No one's done yet. That doesn't surprise me. This is gross. I don't actually think anyone could do this in 90 minutes. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't really need that key. Oh, I better take it. Whatever. I better take it. But you have to ram this? Can't ram the wall like in the desert? Yeah, it's a pretty small group. Uh, basically, this group is the group that decided to do this instead of Triforce Hunt, which is probably already over, to be fair. Uh, Triforce Hunt was probably a better option. Daily Triforce Hunt. I would not have done very well in it, though, because I don't know that one too well. I've only done it, like, twice ever. Fun as it is, I didn't nearly get into it. Is that big key? Might as well look for that gold sword. Okay, let's get out of here. Pretty nice. Ganna's Tower, that's going to guarantee an hour 50 is top end here. It's probably going to be a little under that. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 
Takes about six minutes to climb this place and get to Ganon. Gonna kill Ganon really fast. right that red guy there that red Igor is pretty picky about that and sometimes he hits you and you try and do it that way it always feels nice when he lets you through oops let to shoot downwards that sucks let's screw that up she's fire rod it's around with these freaking skeletons That guy, too, decides sometimes to not take damage. He just keeps on walking sometimes. Let's learn how to shoot. Ah! Every time I get hit by something. Runs everything. I have so much trouble in this room. I don't know why. I gotta lead that fireball to miss so that I can actually get the shot clear. Hill for the road. Everything looks good. I got a blue potion too. Hopefully this item is less mean than the other one, because he took a hundred years. This one really can't be that mean though. He can only be, he can only do like some of these shots. And there, I just, I missed the double I could have had. But I was a little confused about his location. Now he is being pretty jerky though. Ah, oh, ah, they grazed him. Ah. Well, I didn't even fire one that time. What a jerk. <laughs> I hate this guy. There we go. Okay, that took me about four minutes to climb. That's not too bad. And then the Ganon's gonna take two or less because I'm really loaded. This feels like a good time for this mess. It's a hot mess. Could have easily taken more than two hours if I had a little bit less luck. Well, 
Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twelve. Very specific counting there. It's phase three. The spin does count as two with this sword. Blast them once with this. Okay. And you're dead. No problem, Ganon. I told you it'd be easy. <laughs> you got all that stuff. You can't really run, Ganon. Hey, hour 48. Roughly. First dawn, I think. In this group. We had two forefoots, unfortunately, and I understand. Not one to clear a seed this gross. Hour 47, 43. Things I did not check that are big are the dwarves. There's four items there. I have the powder, so that's four items. We got the powder, the dwarves themselves, the bump, uh, the, the hammer cave thing, and the chest that's locked. I'd never check those four things. I didn't check the catfish, Zora, or his ledge up there, so I didn't get scammed. Um, I did check the other stuff up there, though. I got the, uh, the waterfall. I never checked the pedestal or the green pendant. I didn't check the boots um, bumper cave on the left, and I did not check the king's tomb on the right. I didn't check um, the mirror ledge, any of them, except for Mimic Cave. I didn't check anything in Mire. <laughs> There's three items there. I didn't check. If you round up, I'm at an hour 48. I'm at an hour 47.43. Price is right rules would throw you out though. <laughs> Fungus for some slasher. I never found the mushroom, but apparently it's the other sword. Well, folks, um, you might want to be watching Monster Hunter. I know Tuesday's really into that game, and he's playing it with the excitement, uh, the likes of which I don't get for gaming very often anymore. I wish I did. I just don't get that emotion <laughs> about any particular game. Wish I did. It's been a while. Well, I'm trying to think of what the last game I was really excited about. It might have been Breath of the Wild, actually. That was pretty fun. I don't know that I would... I still don't think I was that excited about it, as much as I enjoyed it. Um, I'll have to go back a little ways. Let 
me see. Man, three forfeits? Oh, I wish people would get this one done. This stupid seed. It's killing everybody. I don't know. I'm gonna throw you over to Tuesday. Let me just fast forward the stats here so we can get a gander item. I wanna see how many items I opened at least. Here's your stats. No. Patty is still playing this seed. He's maybe gonna finish. The only other one who might finish this piece of junk. Uh, the flute's bugged. They need to fix it. 157 is pretty steep, considering I skipped a bunch still. I haven't played a kind of class yet. I've been meaning to. I have played the intro. I haven't gotten too far past it, though. I'll host you over to Tuesday. He's rocking that game. Uh, take it easy, folks. Thanks for coming out. I'll probably be on uh, tomorrow before AI Arena, but it is AI Arena tomorrow, so... I'll see you then. We're giving prizes out to the to the winners. Could be you. If you're a good better, take it easy. <laughs>